Maybe you're in a valley right now that you've experienced the worst failure of your whole entire life. And you're on the verge of quitting. I don't care how strong you are. I don't care how tough you are. I don't care how resilient you are. I don't care how mean you are. Eventually you get to a breaking point. Eventually even the strong get tired. Even the strong get weary. Even the strong get to the breaking point and come to the point that you feel like if one more thing happens to me, I'm going to lose it. Listen to me. Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. One of the things that we have to do as we're pursuing our dreams and our goals is that we have to know that failure is not an option. You've got to tell yourself, despite the circumstances, the situations, you have to tell yourself that I'm not going anywhere until I get to go. Until I make my dreams become a reality, I'm not quitting. I don't care how much money I have to invest. I don't care how much time I have to invest. I'm going to continue to do this until I become successful. You can pretend that you care, but you can't pretend that you're there. The only way you can be there is to show up. And what I'm asking you to do for me, you'll never be a failure if you show up every single day. Every single day when I come, I show up and I let failure know. Failure is not an option. You can't even let it sink into your brain. Not even a second. You have to know that this thing is going to work. Come hell or high water, whatever it is that I set out to do, it may not happen in six months. It may not happen in a year. It may not happen in two years. But at some point, my dream is going to become a reality. It's the perseverance of the individual that overpowers all obstacles, all challenges, all issues. It's the one who's willing to get knocked down, find the strength to get back up again and again and again for as long as it f***ing takes. The one with the never say die attitude. The one who refuses to be denied. The one who never surrenders. You can't complain because things are getting harder. You got to get tougher. You got to think in your skin. Stop throwing in the towel at the first sight of failure and stand up inside of yourself. You got to let the world know that you ain't leaving without succeeding. Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 things that do not work. It's 10,000 things that didn't work. And all I have to do is the next one. And once I do the next one or the one after that or the one after that, bam, I'm going to be successful. I'm telling you, every time I stand up here and do what I'm doing, all I can remember was sleeping in abandoned buildings. That's all I could think about. But I kept trying and I kept trying and I kept trying. And I kept going. I was consistent and I'm standing here today. I don't see failure. I see grit. Determination, drive, sacrifice. Failure means you're trying. A whole bunch of people out here never fail because they never try. Now look at this failure. I look at as my first, second, third attempt. Whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, you're not going to be able to make it happen if you don't have a dream party every day. You've got to have a dream session. You've got to take out 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, however much time you have, and you've got to actually go in a room, close the door, and you've got to see yourself doing it. You gotta feel yourself doing it. You gotta actually walk in it. You gotta go in the future, live it out, come back in the present, and start working toward it. Every single day, we're not waiting for it to happen. We just don't have sight. Sight is for people who live in the present. We have vision. We're going to make it happen before it happens. For every minute that you think you can't do it, I need you to offset it with dreaming about the fact that you can. If you have a 30 minute pity party, I need you to have an hour success party. You know what crazy means? Crazy means that you have the ability to see things that other people can't. And if you're not f***ing crazy, you're never going to succeed at anything in life. Everybody has got to be a little bit off. Anybody that's done something great, they don't think like anybody else. They can't. And the people that tell you you can't do it, you know what your response to them is? Watch me. You're going to prove to everybody. You're going to prove to yourself that you can handle this. For it's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again. Because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions? Who spends himself in a worthy cause? Who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement? And who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly? So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. One thing in life, that's for sure. The valiant motherfucker always wins.